this bitch on the yeah, 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 uh, 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 yeah. Walk up in this bitch, hold they bread when they see me. I can tell that you a serpent in disguise, huh? Yeah, if I had a dollar every time they try to stop us, I could be a millionaire a million times, huh? What is good, everybody? Uh, we are back at it again. I know it's been a minute since we did our last video, uh, but we are staying on the topic of Gucci Gang. I'm trying to fill the Gucci Gang um, playlist on the channel. Thanks for all the support, guys, that we've been getting, um, even though we haven't done videos in a while. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, be in the comment section, you know, saying what you like about the video, what you don't like about the video, all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Look, they're gonna be the Gucci Worldwide colorway of the uh, Rythans, and we're gonna get into the pricing and the sizing of these shoes because they do fit a little bit different than the previous Gucci shoes that I did a review on. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the review, guys. So we're gonna start with the box. And the box is, uh, it's really, really premium, I would say. Uh, depending on how old the sneaker is that you get, uh, depends on the box. If they are a little bit, if they were made um, a little bit newer, then they're gonna be in this green box. If they're a little bit older, they're gonna be in a white and black box. Really, really nice on the outside of the box here, on the inside of the box, this is what it looks like. Um, super clean, super fresh. Just as you would expect from a luxury shoe, you know? Got some paper in here. This paper is kind of jacked up, but it's a little bit different than the white uh, paper that you always get from, let's say, Nike or Adidas. And when you get the shoe, they're going to come in these bags. These are uh, dust bags to keep the shoes in premium condition. And I really like that about these shoes because, I mean, let's be honest, when you're paying this much money for a pair of sneakers, uh, you want to make sure that they're protected. Yeah, so, so when you get the shoes, they're in these bags right here. They say Gucci on them. It's pretty clean. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. And then when you take it out of this dust bag, there is another dust bag to keep it even fresher. What is it? Fresher, freshest, freshest, <laughs> right? Uh, All right, so now we're taking a look at the shoe. This is the Gucci Worldwide colorway of the shoe. And... The thing that I really like about this shoe is that it's a dad shoe, you know what I'm saying? It's a poppy shoe, you know? And when you really start to think about it, there is like a whole dad shoe type wave. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it started with the 700s that Yeezy came out with, uh, just because they're, they are super clean. And, um, you know, um, um, Balenciaga also has some dad type shoes. Um, but yeah, man, they're, they're dad shoes, you know what I'm saying? They're poppy shoes, you know? Matter of fact, uh, speaking of poppy, champagne poppy, we know you're a big fan of the show, man. We would love to have you on the show. Drake, come through, man. We can do some reviews on some shoes. I know you I know you like Nike, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I haven't really been on Nike like that, but you come on the show, we can do some reviews on some Nikes, maybe some Off-Whites, uh, R.I.P. Virgil. But um, yeah, Drake, yo, come on the show, man. Um, yeah, so let's <laughs> get into the colorway here. So we got all white shoe, super, super clean. We got leather on the inside of these bad boys. Check that out. Gucci made in Italy on the inside of the sneaker. All of the lining on the inside of the sneaker is straight leather. It's just it's just premium leather. Um, at the bottom of the shoe, we're gonna have a gum sole, which I really like about this shoe. Gucci made in Italy. Super clean finish to the shoe. Uh, right here at the top also, this is a little bit of a low key uh, thing that's a little bit new that I would say on the shoes. I don't think I've ever seen that on a sneaker with the lacing, with the, with the, uh, with the threads on the outside. That's super sick, the way that they did that. On the back, there was also a little Gucci uh, embossed in the fabric there. And um, also on the tongue. It's just an all around good shoe. Uh, I really am digging the style of this shoe. Um, if anybody knows, actually, these nautical flags that are on the outside of the shoe, if anybody knows what they mean, are they the same on both shoes? Yeah. If anybody knows what these mean, because I know these nautical flags have meaning. Every single one of them has a different meaning. I'm not sure if it's a letter or um, uh, something like that or some type of signal. Because I know when the, when the boats have them on their, on their ships, they mean something. I'm just going to do some research myself to see what this says. But um, let me know how you guys are feeling this. Uh, so the price range, they're going to come in at 980 Wait, no. That's, that's the other pair. Uh, these are going to come in at 790 Sorry. Um, which is a little bit steep for a price, 790 euros. I can do the translation for, uh, for dollars. I'll put that in on the screen. Um, 
but since we are based in, in Europe right now in Germany, these are going to be euros, 790 euros. They're a little bit of a price tag, I, I would say <laughs> so. Um, but I mean, it's an investment, you know what I'm saying? Think about the, the looks you're going to get with these shoes. Some people don't even know what these are, you know what I'm saying? And I really want to get a pair that doesn't say Gucci on it. I really want to get just like a plain pair, like a, like a white on white, just like plain pair, because a lot of people don't know what like the silhouette of a shoe so i think it would be really like a humble flex to do it just have it no no nothing on it you know like kind of like yeezy did with the adidas with the yeezys i mean they are adidas but they don't say adidas on them anywhere as far as the sizing goes uh they are italian sizes normally i wear a size 12 so with these shoes i went for a size 11. if you can always be sure to try on the shoe before you purchase it I know it's a little bit, uh, it's not so nice to go into a, um, such a premium high, high fashion store just to check and see the size because, you know, of course, the people that are in there, they work on commission, they're trying to make sales. But at the end of the day, you just got to be persistent and just try on a pair of shoes. You can even be straight up with the person when you come in. I know for me at first, it was a little bit awkward to just go in just to try on a pair, but it's better to make sure you have it in your right size because uh, companies they work with Italian sizes or French sizes, you know, depending if it's Louis V or Dior, you know, so make sure you get your right size. If you can try it on before you purchase them. If you are purchasing secondhand, uh, I would be a little bit careful, maybe do a little bit of research to make sure that you're not getting sold a fake pair. I will say that whenever these are fake, you can tell right off the bat that they're fake. They're not like the, um, some Travis Scott dunks or, you know what I'm saying, where you have to really look and, you know, the stitching and then the, the Nike swoosh is a little bit too far forward. No. When these are fake, you, you can tell right away. Um, and that's another reason why I like the price tag. You're paying for the real thing. You're getting the real thing. Think about the kids on StockX are paying more than 790 for a pair of dunks. You know what I'm saying? Some kids are paying that for Jordan 1s, you know? So, I mean... At the end of the day, it costs to be the boss, let's be honest. And uh, when you're wearing these, you're going to be boss, all right? Um, so that's going to wrap it up from our side, guys, on the video today. Make sure you like the video if you liked it. And uh, if you didn't, leave a dislike. Um, also, in the comments below, I would like to know where you guys are from. You say Gucci Worldwide. I'd like to see where the, where the people are uh, checking in, you know? If you're from a country, uh, just type your country. If you're from the States, put whatever state you're in. And, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, as always, continue to stay awesome, continue to be fresh, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. -y.